Hi all, I'm Laura. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, which pretty much everybody is because this is a brand new channel, welcome to Confident Notions. Uh, this is a combination of a couple of different things. We've got some unboxing videos, we've got some thrifting videos, maybe some haul videos. You never know what you're gonna get here, but hopefully it's interesting and it's entertaining. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So this morning I came back from the West Coast. I was in Spokane, Washington the last two days doing some training in our other office out there. And one of the things that I was super excited about heading out to Spokane was because I was I had already done a little bit of research to hit up some thrift shops to see what I could find. And I'm gonna cut over right now to the video of me panicking in my hotel room when I realized what I had done at Value Village. So here you go. Hey y'all, it's me. I wanted to do a quick vlog about thrifting not in your city. So I am here in Spokane, Washington for work and I am just here for two days. Um, I only brought a carry-on and thankfully these bags under my eyes didn't count as a carry-on so I didn't have to pay extra for them. But anyway, so I'm here in Spokane for two days. I flew in Sunday night, got in at 9.30 p.m. Spokane time which is 1 a.m., no, midnight 30, East Coast time. And then I, I was doing some training for our office here starting at 8 a.m. But one of the things I definitely wanted to do was hit up a Spokane thrift shop while I was here, and I did. But I wanna tell you, uh, I've made a grave error. And my grave error is there's too much stuff that I liked and it was good. So I'm gonna show you my messy suitcase. So you see that? You see that messy carry-on? That's my carry-on. Do you see how small it is? Because everything fits into it. That's my Value Village bag. Do you see in there? Do you see how it's full of sweaters and all kinds of other things? Yeah, my Value Village bag is larger than my carry-on. And of course, it's in Spokane, which means, sorry, my hair is all in the way. It's in Spokane, and so it's cold here. So they have a lot more long sleeve things and sweaters and uh, sweatshirts and things like that that I'm like, oh my gosh, these are awesome. I can't, I have to have these. These are fantastic. But they don't fit in my suitcase. So we're gonna do some creative packing and fingers crossed, I'll get all this stuff home so I can actually do a try on video in a couple of days. All right, I'm back, all right? So there's me, tiny little suitcase, big pile of stuff. And I'll be honest, like I couldn't pass it up. So I was super excited. I was like, I'm gonna go. I did some research, like the best thrift stores in Spokane. I figured I'm gonna hit up one this time and I decided to go to Value Village. I had seen a lot of other Instagrammers and like um, YouTubers posting about going to Value Village. We don't have any here in North Carolina, at least none that I know of. We're primarily a Goodwill type kind of area. So I wanted to hit it up and see what I could find over there. And whoo, let me tell ya. I found some good stuff. So let's dive into what I got because I'm super excited to show you all and that way I can wash it and actually start using it. Cool. So the prices there were a little more expensive than I would expect to see at a typical like, Goodwill or thrift kind of store. They were a little more expensive, but for some of the things that I was getting, I figured absolutely worth it, like no question. So the first thing I got was this um, draft a date long sleeve t-shirt. It's 2017 drafted date. It was, it's a size large. It was $2.99. Uh, long sleeve t-shirt. I gotta tell you, I love a good long sleeve t-shirt. I just do, hence this one here. So when it starts to get a little bit chillier, it's kind of my go-to because it doesn't really get too, too cold here in North Carolina. Sometimes not cold enough to need like big heavy sweatshirts and sweaters, so a long sleeve t-shirt can go a really long way. The majority of long sleeve t-shirts that I currently own are from various uh, sorority events that I have purchased as an advisor because my advisee will come to me and be like, I gotta sell X number of shirts, will you buy one? And I said, sure. So instead, I have somebody else's draft a date uh, t-shirt. So I'm assuming this is, I'm sure it was from some sort of uh, fraternity sorority uh, date party event where they 
had to go grab a date and uh, go to a party. So for $2.99, I will happily take it. The next thing I got was another long sleeve t-shirt. This one here, uh, it says Washington State Cougars, right? It does have a little bit of a, I think that's like a little bit of like a bleach stain. I don't know if it's actually coming up here, but a little bit of like a bleach stain-y kind of thing on it. Um, still, again, long sleeve t-shirt. This is a great thick material. It's got some sort of logo that I am assuming is for the Washington State Cougars. I guess that's a Washington Cougar on the back there. Uh, again, another $2.99 size extra large. Again, I'm gonna get a $3 long sleeve t-shirt. Hell yeah, I'm gonna do it all day long. Super cute. The next thing I got was a blazer. Let me tell you, one of the biggest trends this fall is for those over, is oversized blazers, like oversized Tweety blazers, really similar to like a lot of what you saw in the late 80s and 90s, and it's making a tremendous comeback. One of the best places to go to find blazers is Goodwill or to your thrift stores. I have picked up, this is gonna be the third blazer that I've picked up for the fall, and it's finally getting cool enough here in Raleigh for me to be able to wear them. But I found a fantastic blazer out at, um, at a Goodwill. I found an amazing blazer when I was in the UK at a UK thrift store, and then I came across this one, which I could not pass up. So, super cute tweed blazer with this like suede uh, accent here on the collar see just a super cute oversized tweety like this just screams fall and oh gosh I didn't even realize look it has elbow patches like elbow patches can you even right so just fantastic for the fall it's I'm gonna be able to wear this a ton this here is from a company called Brayfair. I have never heard of them before. This does seem a little bit vintagey just given the, the construction of it. This uh it says it is a women's size 16. Uh, yeah, I need to size up in blazers, but I usually sit at about a size 12 in a blazer. Uh, this one was a 16 and it is slightly oversized, but it still fits really well. So just another reason not to get too, too freaked out whenever you see sizes, because especially for things that might be a little bit vintagey, things were definitely cut smaller like 20 years ago. No ifs, ands, or buts about it, right? So this here, it was 7.49 absolutely worth the $7.49. I'm gonna get a ton of wear out of it this year. The next thing I got was this giant sweatshirt. And I, um, it is a Donald Duck giant sweatshirt. This is actually from the Disneyland Resorts. It's a size extra large. It also has a Disneyland here embroidered on the back. I'm not a tremendous Disney fan. Uh, however, I do respect the fact that A, this definitely has a, a vintagey vibe to it. Uh, I love that it, it doesn't have a date on here. I was hoping to see it, but it definitely has like a really vintagey vibe to it, especially if this came from one of the, from the Disneyland Resort. You know the sweatshirt was probably $60 to start with, 65, 60 bucks. And I got it for $11.99. So again, one that I just couldn't pass up because you can always use a good sweatshirt. And quite honestly, if I decide uh, to pass this along, then I'm gonna go ahead and, I'll just go ahead and put it up on my Instagram. Uh, Instagram. I'm gonna go ahead and put it up on my Poshmark because I'm sure there's another Disney fan out there, probably somebody who actually really loves them, some Donald Duck, that would be super excited to take this home with them. But again, like tremendous deal, couldn't pass it up for this quality and like thickness of sweatshirt. Absolutely, I'll take that home all day long. The other thing I got is I did get another sweatshirt. Okay. Um, this one is, is a hoodie and it is Charlie's Acres Motorcycle Club from Rathburn, Idaho. <laughs> it's just a bunch of bikers out in Idaho making sweatshirts. I love it. I just absolutely love it. That's fantastic. Some Idaho 
bikers. Uh, this here is in a size extra large. It was $8.99. It's got a hood. It's a fantastic, just a great oversized sweatshirt. I love the flames on it. I love, again, this is definitely like a vintage-y feel sweatshirt. I'm totally here for it. So for $8.99, you damn well bet that it also came home with me into my suitcase. Now you may be thinking, geez, Laura, that's not so bad. Why did you have such a hard time closing your suitcase? Well, let me tell you. This is hands down like the my favorite thing that I got at Value Village. And when I saw this, I could not pass it up and it was thick, but it is glorious. And it is this vintage oversized sweater. It is, it's green, it's black, it's got purple, it's got orange stripes in it, it's got pink stripes. It is definitely vintage as you can tell by the tag. This is a Criterion by Arrow Criterion and you can tell like this old school um, uh, tag on here. They don't make them like that anymore, right? This was $7.99. I found it in the men's section. It's an extra large. It's gonna be fantastic for the winter. You pair this up with some leggings, um, and some chunky and some boots over top of it and you're going to be so warm and cozy or if you want to channel 1994 laura you could get this sweatshirt leggings and a turtleneck for reals layered up and take you to class in that so it's really kind of frightening like how everything starts coming around i'm like oh that's cute i'm like i am pretty sure i own something very similar to this quite a while ago and it's back and I'm gonna take it back. There's some things that I'm definitely not gonna take back, like definitely some trends that uh, are very popular right now that I definitely wore the heck out of back in the day and I am not about to revisit them, like baby doll t-shirts. Laura don't need no baby doll t-shirts, ain't gonna happen. So, so that was my haul at Value Village absolutely had a fantastic time going through there. I was there for probably about an hour and a half and got to look at a lot of really cool stuff. And I, by some grace, I, would, I managed to get that all back into my suitcase. Now here's the thing. So that was the first night while I was in Spokane. The second night, because I took the red eye back and my plane was leaving at like 11.49 p.m. So I had time to kill. So I ended up at a vintage store. And I was like, Laura, you can barely get your suitcase closed right now. Don't even think about it. Why are you going to the vintage store? Well, of course I went to the vintage store and I restrained myself. I held back to just one thing. If you happen to follow me on Instagram, it's also Confident Notions on Instagram, you will see like the most fantastic sweatshirt on the planet that I did not bring home with me. Um, but I would have brought it home with me if I didn't choose this other thing instead. And it was just this purple old lady sweatshirt and had pictures of like slot machines and dice and um, like cards on it. And it said, if there's no gambling in heaven, then I'm not going. <laughs> I wanted that sweatshirt so bad and I do have some low key regrets that I did not buy it and bring it home with me because let me tell you I would take that sweatshirt and I will take it to the casino by my husband's parents house I will take it to Rivers Casino in Pittsburgh I will take it to Atlantic City and I will sit there with my drink and my fanny pack and that sweatshirt and be a very happy Lara because there is nothing more that I want to be when I am old is just some old lady sitting at slot machines all day long. Hashtag goals. Goals. Anyways, I did not bring that home. I'm super sad about it. I I might call them and see if I can buy it and ship it to me. Because it was great. It was just great. Anyways, so the one thing that I did come home with me from the vintage store, and obviously when you're looking at a vintage store, everything is curated, so it's going to be a little more expensive than if you happen to come across it at Goodwill or at like Value Village or some other sort of thrift shop. So I fell in love with this sweatshirt. You see the same theme here? I've got three, this makes sweatshirt number three and a blazer and a sweater. So that's why my suitcase barely closed. So this is a vintage 
sweatshirt with these cats on it and for some reason they have sourdough bread and they're trying to get some crabs into a pot and it says fisherman's worth san francisco um definitely you can tell by the tag that this uh if this is a vintage item it is a size extra large it is super oversized but what i love is it's got the cat on the back with the bread and the crabs on his tail and i don't know why this just amused the hell out of me and like i was walking around the store and i couldn't stop thinking about it and then i saw the if there's no gambling in heaven that i'm not going and i was like mm, mm, ah. anyways i ended up with this one and i'm super excited about it but this reminds me so much of something that like i would have worn as a kid again i would probably paired it with some leggings and some scrunchy socks which is probably what i'm going to do now anyways but absolutely fantastic super excited to get this here um but wait there's more so because i am super insane my husband and i went to philadelphia over the weekend and then i got on a plane on sunday flew back to raleigh got on a plane turned around and went to spokane but while we were in philadelphia we were walking the streets and it was saturday morning and they had like a multi-block vintage flea market thrift thing going on and there were tons of different people who just brought their wares and set up outside and i was so i was absolutely in heaven to just go picking through like people's stuff absolutely thrilled so i ended up coming home with something like literally when i saw these i got so excited like I, I like I squeaked sorry if you can hear me like in the the noise down here um and I got so excited like I I literally squeaked and which is probably like not what you want to do because you want to like try to play coy but on the other hand like the the couple who had this particular table who was selling them like they were a delightful older couple like and I wasn't about to haggle them down because that was stupid I ended up getting three of these glasses so i've got this one this miss piggy glass this is the happiness hotel glass and then this one here which is um this is like fozzy and kermit and the gang here on on the hot air balloon these glasses were produced by McDonald's for in conjunction with the great Muppet Caper movie. I wonder if it actually has a date on here. It says 1981. So 1981 for these glasses. We 100% had these glasses growing up. They still might be in my parents' cupboard. And so the next time I go home, I might have to check it out. But I got so excited to find these because we definitely own these. And I've seen a couple of people like saying how they found them at like thrift stores or whatever. And so when I came across all three of these, I was literally so excited to get these and bring these home. They ask $3 a piece for them. And I'm not going to I'm not going to haggle. I'm sure that they found them at the thrift store for like 25 cents or they bought them at McDonald's for a dollar like back in 1991, 1981. I'm not going to haggle with them. I paid three bucks a piece and I couldn't be happier. So, so, so excited to have those and like bring those back and maybe when my child is old enough to not spill beverage all over herself, I'll let her drink out of those too. All right, now the very last thing that I came across at the flea market was um, a picture that I absolutely like fell in love with. And my husband was like, seriously? And I was like, oh, oh, seriously. <laughs> and it's this framed, book cover of apparently it's a book from the 1960s which is not a good read and it's called satan was a lesbian and you can see there's like satan and some like i guess those are the lesbians in there i'm not super certain what it is but i just absolutely love the the vintage retro vibe of this like it's it's very like 60s avant-garde like what you would expect to see in you know book covers and any sort of um like graphic design from the 60s and it's just such a crazy like you know off the wall concept 
And the guy who sold this to me said that um, apparently this was a real book and the guy who bought the book paid like 300 bucks for it because apparently it's not a very good book and there weren't very many copies of it. And so what he did was he licensed copies of the dust jacket that they all go around and sell, I guess for $6, right? Um, in an attempt to kind of recoup his money. I feel like I've seen this before somewhere, but I was like, oh yeah, this is mine. And I'm gonna hang it up in my office or maybe, Maybe I'll, oh, dang it, it won't fit. Nope, nope, it won't fit. All right, but anyways, <laughs> Sydney was a lesbian. Awesome. So yeah, that is my thrifting hauls, what I came home with over the last weekend from a variety of places, coast to coast. Uh, so I hope you like it. Um, I'm super excited with the purchases I, I got. I love the fact that um, you can go do some thrifting and come up with some like really cool like mid-century items or things that are really like reminiscent of, you know, either your childhood or things that you liked before. I think that's one of the really cool things about like going thrifting at <coughs> this age. Uh, the trends that are coming back are things that I definitely wore um, back in high school and college. And I'll be honest, I'm here for it. I'm here to rock it again. I ain't got no qualms about it. Uh, if you're like, hey, you know, if you wore it the first time around, you probably shouldn't wear it again. Here's the thing. I'm gonna be some old ass lady in like an oversized sweatshirt and leggings and like 80 years old dressing like I did when I was 20 and I can figure it like if Queen Elizabeth can do it and rock what she rocked in the 1950s, she found a style she liked and she just kept going with it, by God, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. All right, so you guys have a great rest of your evening. Um, again, so if you liked what you saw here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. I'd love to see some more of you around here. And yeah, uh, have a great rest of your night and I will see you soon. Bye.